Hello everyone and welcome to the first official art session. We're going to go ahead and get right down to it. I think that's the best way to really do this type of thing and the best way that you're going to learn. Uh, and today's subject matter is Gandorf from the Lord of the Ring trilogy. A lot less people know he's actually also in the Hobbit films. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and get started. And now I can already hear a lot of you saying, <laughs> Steve, there's no way I can do this. And I'm here to tell you today that with a few techniques that I'm going to be teaching you over the course of this lecture series, you will be able to take a complex image like this, break it down, and resynthesize it into a perfect facsimile with relative ease. And so let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to select the pencil tool to kind of do a rough outline. And we're really gonna dial that collar wheel back. We kind of want a nice, dark, rich pencil tone. Uh, and so basically when we're looking at an image like this, what we wanna do is really, oh, sorry, let me get rid of that here. That is not, let me get rid of that so more messages don't come through. Put the do not disturb on. Sorry guys, gotta work out a few kinks here as we get started. But anyway, back to it. So really what we wanna do is look at Gandalf here. When we when we look at Gan, Gandalf, we see a lot of the, the typical human features that we've come to really know, I mean, and love. So we've got, you know, his two eyeballs, he's got a big nose, kind of a little mouth tucked in, uh, a big um, kind of, uh, bush of unkempt hair so really what we want to start doing is i'm going to draw the outline of his of his face so really to me just and this it's just kind of just wing it a little bit um you know his hair kind of comes down so we're really going to make a face shape that looks something kind of exactly like that okay and so obviously we see his eyes eyes are kind of you know a little squinty a little bit like he sees some something that he's that he doesn't really quite trust. But that's Gandalf for you. And you can see that he, his eye is kind of like over here, kind of looking at something. One, one's like right here. And then we got the other one that's kind of also over here, kind of like that. And, and we'll, we'll hone a lot of this later. This is more or less just getting that basic um, outline down. Now, when we look at his eyebrows, you can kind of see well, he's really got kind of like a kind of pointy eyebrows. Uh, and the one over here is kind of doing like this big curve thing here. So, so just kind of, you know, get that in there, kind of draw that in there just to really kind of put it there. Really, you can see it's already starting to come together. Next, you're going to want to do that, that big nose of his. So I just kind of like put it just like that. And, um, and then we're going to draw a little mouth here uh, that's going to be covered with some hair. Um, so then after that, what I like to kind of do is just really kind of put in his hair. And you don't have to worry about drawing every piece of hair because um, once you get enough in, it's kind of, um, it's really kind of an optimum illusion. Uh, which is basically where the um, it plays tricks on the eyes. Um, and also, almost forgot the age marks, so you can tell he's old. <laughs> We're not drawing young G Gandalf. Then let's draw this messy beard. So you're really just going to, again, just kind of like with the hair, put a lot on there. Don't worry about drawing every single one. Um for the same purposes as earlier. The eyes see what they want to see. And so really, just basically at home, just try to kind of follow along, kind of do exactly what I'm doing, and you're really gonna like the result. So really, I mean, we're most of the way there, really. So once we've got, so he just has a lot of hair. It reminds me of that classic scene um, where they're in they're in that cave and um, that big fire monster shows up and because um, if you didn't notice we're drawing Gandalf the gray, not Gandalf the white. That's going to be another session, 
but Gandalf the Grey, and he's fighting that big fire monster, and then he goes to fall off the ledge, and, and he says, um, uh, fly, 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 you fool. <laughs> and then, and that's when he fall he falls down, and, um, you think that he's gone for good, but lo and behold, he comes back as Gandalf the White. Yeah. And that's when the story, I think, really starts to get good. Um, but no, definitely not going to do any spoilers in here. So, okay, so we've got a lot of his hair there. Really, for the most part, Gandalf's done at this point. Um, and really what you want to do, though, you cannot, you cannot draw Gandalf without his classic staff. So, kind of just looking at the image here. This, be, this is kind of more or less the top of the staff, and we'll come down. It's kind of definitely something like that. And voila. And then maybe saying one of his classic, um, classic phrases or something like that. There we go, uh, and that's that is Gandalf the Grey. Um, did this first one kind of on a good faith effort that you guys would just go ahead and PayPal me the forty dollars? I didn't have time to put together a list of everybody that said they wanted to be in the class, um, but I think now you can kind of rest assured that you you're going to get the kind of quality tutorials that you require. Um, so definitely go ahead and, and shoot over that first installment of $40 and I should be back in a week with another new tutorial ready to go. I really look forward to building your skill and working together as a class. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much. And as always, God bless.